All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting on the review table. Uh, the other day I did a video on this guy right here. This is a barrel by the guys over there, X2 Dev Group. Somebody likened it to uh, a Criterion fluted barrel. It is not. It is definitely not anything like a Criterion. We've gone ahead and decided I'm going to re, uh, redirect this guy. This guy's going to go on a go rifle uh, at one pound, 5.7 ounces. I can't wait to see how this thing shoots. Okay, let's put that away. Another item that they've got over there at the X2 Dev Group is this charging handle. This is They do have it for 5.56 uh, as well as the large frame 308 uh, AR-10 platform couple things I want to talk about. So charging handles are charging handles are charging handle, right? Yeah, yes and no. Each one of them has their attributes. Every one that I've ever had, I have competition. We have for tactical. Not that I'm in much of a tactical frame of mind anymore at my age, but uh, I'm not going to be running around with a chest rig on uh, very long. But I do like to go shoot competition because I can do my own pace. Alright, so anyway, let's talk about a few things. This thing is ambidextrous. CNC. Absolutely beautiful. I want you to look at the workmanship on this. Uh, we've got mechanisms that operate inside of this guy right here. The one thing I do like about it is that the points where we're going to be either racking it up against a, a piece of wood, trying to get that slide back, we're going to be uh, mortaring it. Uh, I don't have to worry about these things breaking because they are going to be pulled back. A um, couple notes from the guys over there at X2. This is a combat-derived ambi-charging handle. Special Operations and JSOC inspired design. And at $95, it better be bad to the bone. And eh, it is pretty bad, bad to the bone. Is that a high price for a charging handle? Well, yes and no. If you're into high price stuff, Geisley, uh, the Airborne, whatever it is, the charging handle, I think that's $135. There's a couple of them out there. I know that I've paid 100 bucks for a bunch of them. The, uh, Anyway, long story short, $95 for this guy. I think it's well worth it, okay? And that's just my opinion. Uh, dramatically reduces the chances of unlatching and snagging on gear when the carrier is locked back. Um, all right. Big thing is you've got these operating levers right here, okay? So what I'm going to do real quickly, I, I just don't know what else I could say about it other than I like it. Now, one of the things that I, I'm not a big fan of, I, I put it in a rifle. I played with it, and I operated it and ran it around acting like I was doing a bunch of uh, just drills and things like that. These right here concern me just a tad, okay? Um, and there's a reason for it, and I'll show you. I'm actually getting ready to do a review on that little optic right there, and it's, that's a really neat little optic. I'm going to go ahead and take this off screen because they frown upon that kind of thing, right? I'm going to put it in here. You can't show it. I don't think you... I'm cleaning the rifle. That's what I'm doing right now, okay? Uh, this is a brand new upper receiver that I was going to use. Okay, so there we are. Let's take a look at that. First of all, very clean, very clean indeed. All right. Um, my when I run or operate a firearm, a rifle like this, okay, I always use my charging handle from this side. Um, the cool thing about this, if this will not pull back, okay, you have to actually release that pin right there. You can see that uh, hook in there moving. Alright, if you try to pull that back without depressing that lever right there, it won't go. Um, same thing with the other side, of course. If you can pull as much as you want, but you got to have that thing pulled right there. Biggest thing for me is if I'm running and gunning, I'm going to be having to train myself to bring my finger in right there and pulling it back. Is that something that's big? No, not really. Uh, and, and what I do with my rifles, I'm not worried about them snagging anywhere. This is a snag point right here. You can get something hooked up in there real quick, 550 cord, uh, strap, something of that nature, okay? Uh, is that a concern, super concern? No, because, I mean, almost everybody's got that. But that is a uh, also a point right here. I'm not saying it's uh, a bad idea or a bad design. I'm just saying if anything you have to do training with it. So anyway, hyper fire eclipse in here, that land tack, and that little red, that little green dot actually. So we're gonna do a video on that later on as well. Um, what is the name of that? Rotato or something like that. <laughs> Votato. Votatu. But anyway, let me pull it back out so we can take another look at it. So you can't show that on screen. That's called either trying to do something with a rifle, which I'm not. All right. Uh, 
if you're into something that's really neat, uh, a great design, uh, and I think one of the coolest things is I like the cam features. I uh, was looking at this on the back of it. You, you can see the cam action, uh, how these work. And it's uh, got a spring loader right there. And when you are, somebody's at my house, when you're doing that right there, it operates, opens up the hook, and you do it on the same side. Well, anyway, pretty cool deal. Uh, that's it. We're going to put this in a rifle. I like the way out this thing's coming. And yes, by the way, that is a Criterion barrel in there. <laughs> uh, somebody had asked about that. But uh, I like it. I like this thing a lot. Uh, just going to take some getting used to with these points out here. We'll run it and see how it works out and uh, go from there. But in short, guys, that's it. Real quick video of the Jackal by the guys over there at X2. Uh, I'll put a link in the campsite down below if you want to go to their website and check it out. And uh, that's, well, yeah, that's it, man. Pretty cool. I like it. CNC'd. I mean, you beat somebody with it. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom gets your ass handed to you by a jackal if you're not nice. It's KB32. I'm out. Y'all be good. Boom.